I have spent the last 10 years studying charismatic individuals, and perhaps the most interesting thing that I have found is across all of these different kinds of people, there's really only five charismatic types. And each of those types has a particular habit that they go back to that makes them charismatic. So in this video, I want to share with you exactly what those five things are because they're basically guaranteed to make you charismatic. But I also want to share with you a pitfall associated with each because I said they're basically guaranteed. If you have the pitfall, rather than being charismatic, you're just someone with a part of their personality that is blown out of proportion and can be obnoxious. So the first type is the authentic type. Now, obviously for this person, honesty, being real are going to be paramount. And what's interesting about them is that if you're hanging out with an authentic type, not every single moment is getting better and better and having you like them more and more. There's often this dip where they start a conflict that you were just gonna sweep under the rug or they go off on their own kind of odd sense of humor that you don't quite get. But the reason that we like this person is not because every moment is just wonderful. It's because we learn to trust and respect their integrity. We know that what they are saying is what they believe. They are not trying to get us to like them. They are not manipulating us. They are being real. And that creates a tremendous amount of desire to spend time with them because there's this fundamental sense of trust that usually isn't there. Now, the sort of pitfall that you can fall into with this type is that if you're just authentic and you throw everything else out, you're just honestly yelling at people or honestly talking about things that you care about that nobody else does. You wanna have authenticity first in this type and then social graces as a close second. There's a way to handle conflict that is both honest and tactful. That's what you wanna keep in mind. The second type is the self-assured type. This type is very high in conviction. And of all the people that I've covered, I don't think anyone exemplifies this better than Conor McGregor. When Conor was up and coming, before he was ranked in the UFC, he had this massive groundswell of a following. And a large portion was he was a flashy fighter, but it was because, I think, of the way he talked. He was so certain that things were going to go the way that he said they did. They called him Mystic Mac for a long time until reality seems to have caught up with him. But that conviction was there nevertheless. This type of person tends to be able to look you in the eye and just kind of shake your beliefs because they're so certain of what they are saying. They also tend to be big on visualization. If you look at Arnold Schwarzenegger, Conor McGregor, they, they will spend hours a day rehearsing things in their heads so that they're certain it's going to go the way that they want it. This type tends to lead large organizations, but the issue is that they can sometimes miss opportunities for growth. They can overlook weaknesses because they're so certain that their path is the right one. And as leaders, sometimes they can be bullies. If you think of Steve Jobs, incredibly, incredibly high conviction, but the people who worked with him would say he also had quite a temper, and that was not something he was ever able to rectify. That can be a massive pitfall for this type. The third type is almost diametrically opposed to the high conviction. It is the empathetic type. This is the person who values above all connection. Now, of everybody that I've done, I think on the channel, Oprah is the person. She gets it at the big scale, she gets it at the small scale. She's able to go out and connect large social movements, right? To do things that bring people together and make them want to be part of something bigger. You might think of Elon Musk here. You probably don't like the way that he speaks, but he connects people with, with something inside of them, with that desire to travel, to see the universe, to expand the horizons of humanity. And we're connected in that way to our childhood dreams. But in the one-on-one -on -one scenario, if you look at Oprah, she's able to sit down and not just connect with an individual, not just hold eye contact and invite them to speak. She's able to connect them with parts of themselves that they might not have shared with anyone. And you feel almost whole when you're around this person. They tend to be very non-judgmental. They tend not to speak as much as the other types. They're more introverted sometimes and more likely to ask questions and listen than to just tell you a story. The issue and the pitfall for this type is it's very easy to overlook them if they don't have any of the other types going along with it. Oprah luckily has the fourth type as well, but you can imagine somebody who's really good at connecting but is quiet in a party or a group setting is just not going to get noticed. So you need something to add to this in order to really make it work at scale. And that takes us to the fourth type. You get three and four, you have Oprah Winfrey. This is the energetic type who is huge on enthusiasm. You think of someone who walks into a room and they are just so positive, so optimistic. They're even louder than other people. They're bigger in their body language and they raise sort of the enjoyment level of the entire room just by being there. When I think of this type, I think of someone who breaks social conventions sometimes without even realizing it. Everyone else is shaking hands. Hey, good to see you. Good to see you. 
the energetic type comes in, they're like, how are you guys doing? Great to be here. They're shaking hands, they're slapping high fives, they're giving hugs. Pretty soon, all eyes are on them. Some people are a little bit curious, but even sooner after that, people start following along and the entire room starts to enjoy it more. And we like these people because they make us feel good. We all want to feel more positive, more optimistic, and it is infectious in them. The pitfall here is that this person can sometimes lack depth, which is why it pairs well with the connected type. If you have both of these, you get that Oprah Winfrey thing going and you're doing it very, very well. The final thing is different from this. It can sound the same at first, but it is the funny type that is big on a sense of humor. If you go back to that energetic type, this is just someone who makes people smile and laugh with their positivity, but the funny type can go both ways. They can have caustic senses of humor. They can be sarcastic. They can tell harsh truths in a way that make you laugh. And obviously this one is the most self-explanatory. We wanna spend time with this person because they make us laugh. The interesting thing about this person is they are sometimes, though not all the time, introverted. But at the same time, they have this strong need to perform because they, nothing feels better to them than having other people laugh. So they're this introvert that's out on stage that wants other people to feel good. And the pitfall here is if you think of a lot of comedians who really fall under this, they don't always do a good job of making themselves feel good. And so there can be an inner emptiness. Similarly, that can come out in ways that is caustic, right? They can tell jokes that make people laugh but are really, really harsh on some individuals. And so they go about alienating portions of their friend group until there's not many people left. So that's just something to consider if you think that you're that funny type. So the goal of this has been not to tell you that you have to be one or the other. You can truthfully have four or five, all of these but it's to tell you that you're probably going to focus on one. And if you're looking at my videos, they might pull you in two different directions. Go in the direction that is the type that best matches you. This is how you have your own unique style and sense of charisma. Now, there's something very exciting that I've been looking forward to announcing. We finally did it, and it is that I have finished shooting Charisma University. Now, for those of you who are not familiar, Charisma University is our flagship program. It is a 30-day program that takes you step-by-step step from wherever you are today to leveling up your charisma inside of 30 days. And we do this by starting at the beginning and then having each day build upon the last, with the end goal being that you get a confidence that absolutely radiates out from you and that blows people away. We're also going to teach you the specific skills to make all kinds of interactions go incredibly well. We have had members who have gotten promotions, who have gotten raises, some who have nailed interviews, others who have gotten scholarships or college based on the techniques that we teach in this course because charisma does go a long way to making all of this easier and that includes your dating life if that is something that you are interested in. All of this stuff is built in in an order that is easiest to digest and learn. It's about 20 minutes or so each day. Now, people often ask me, what is the difference between this course and all of the videos that you have on YouTube? And the answer is that, first off, I love the YouTube channel. It is amazing to get to do and I think it's tremendously valuable. But like any sort of video on YouTube, there's not really a structure to it, right? You can pop into our videos anywhere, you can get all this information. It can be confusing where to start and there tends to be quite a bit of guesswork as to what you should actually do tomorrow. So what can happen with our channel and any other is that you learn a lot about the topic, you know about charisma, but you're not practicing it. The entire point of Charisma University is to take charisma from something that you might know about or you might not know anything about to something that you live that is habitual in those 30 days. And we actually have a 60 day money back guarantee because I want that guarantee to be strong so that you can go into it knowing that it's gonna be awesome. People have gotten tons of value in it. I believe in it and it has that guarantee to back it. So if it's something that you'd like to learn more about, you can click here, you can click here. We're gonna have some buttons around and in the description below. I hope that you decide to become a member because the cool thing is at the beginning of the year, 2019, if you join today, we're talking by February, you will have leveled up your charisma and I think that is amazing. So. I hope that you decide to join. I hope to see you inside the course. Regardless, have an amazing end of 2018, an incredible beginning of 2019, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.